Hey everybody, so I'm here with my December empties and I don't have a ton of empties this month to share with you. Um, I'm like kind of halfway through a lot of my products that I've been using. So I'm feeling that January empties will be kind of a big one. Um, November empties was a really big one. So, but I did go through and I did toss some stuff. I'm going to give, either give it away or just toss it because it's old and it needs to kind of move on and be out of my makeup as I'm organizing over here. So it just needs to go away. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my December empty. Okay, so I have it here in my Sephora Barbie sale bag here. And the first thing I have is the... Crest 3D White. This is the Glamorous White Fresh Mint. It's like the Listerine stuff. Um, I like this stuff. I feel like it does whiten my teeth. It's supposed to like help whiten your teeth. Um, I really do feel like it helps whiten um, and I definitely will repurchase. So I really really like this stuff. I've purchased it a couple times and I like it. I went through the Winter Candy Apple. Um, this is the shower gel, just a little mini one, and then the Winter Candy Apple body cream. Um, I went through this thing so fast, like literally I went through it in probably two weeks. I don't know if that's bad or not, but I need a lot of moisture, so um, yeah, I went through this. I love this scent. This scent is like amazing. Um, I already have another one of these and another one of these that I'm using currently, so that will probably be in the next empties. I finished up a couple of wallflowers too. This one is the Mahogany Teakwood, and this one was the Winter Scent. Um, I love these. I think they are awesome for just really scenting up a room. This one I put downstairs in my living room, and it filled up like the entire um, downstairs, so it's crazy. I love these things. Um, they smell really good. I like these scents. The winter scent is just like my favorite winter scent um, and I already have backups of these so love these and already repurchased. I also went through a fresh balsam candle and um, we tried to burn this around the holiday time because it obviously smells like a Christmas tree so um, we went ahead and we meaning me and my husband we burned it like crazy um, and it was really nice. It smelled like a Christmas tree so yeah the only thing I didn't like about this one is it didn't have a top and I really like having a top because whenever I put the candle out I always smother it with the top and this one didn't have a top so that kind of bothered me but otherwise I would repurchase the scent this month was the month of samples I went through a ton of samples I don't know why I just decided I wanted to go ahead and use up samples this month. Um, I used up the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. I love this. I've had multiple travel sizes and deluxe sizes and weird sizes of this. I really do enjoy this primer. I think it's really good. It is a bit heavy on your skin, but I still really, really like it. And I would totally think about purchasing the full size. But I have so many, I get so many of these and so many like little sizes of this, I never have needed to repurchase it. So I don't know. I'll probably never purchase the full size. I used up a Bobbi Brown hydrating face cream. Um, this was not very good. I did not think it was very hydrating and it didn't do much. And I'm really disappointed because I love Bobbi Brown. Um, I also went through the L'Occitane. L'Occitane. Um, I don't even know what this is. It's a cream. I don't know. I used it on my hands one night and it was nice and I think it smelled like lemony or something like that. I don't know. It was, it was fine. It was a one-time use hand cream. I tried to use up but didn't fully use up. This is the Erno Lazio. This is a moisturizer. Um, it broke me out the first time I used it, so I just kind of tossed it aside. Um, I also used up a Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. Love this stuff. This is my like favorite, favorite primer ever um, over the Smashbox one. This one's really, really nice. It's definitely more lightweight and more not, it's not silicone-y, it kind of feels like a moisturizer. I also went through a Makeup Forever HD primer. This one's a lot like the Smashbox one, um, 
but a little less heavy than the Smashbox one. Again, the Smashbox one is pretty heavy. I still enjoy it, but it's definitely heavier. This one's a really nice one. I, li I really liked it. I thought it was a good one. I used up a sample of the Mamma Mio, the tummy rub butter for my belly. <laughs> um, it was nice. I don't know. I really like my Burt's Bees Mama Bee Belly Butter, I think it's called. I like that one better. I went through two of the Clinique Moisture Surge. Um, I like this a lot. Um, it makes my skin feel really, really nice and hydrated the next day. So I really liked that and I would definitely think about purchasing this actually. I really enjoyed it. Another thing I used up two of, this is the Fresh Rose Hydrating Eye Gel Cream. And I liked this a lot lot. Um, the only thing I found is if you use too much of this, um, my eyes would, I, I had like a little breakout and I would get like those little bumps under my eyes. So I probably, I don't know, I would think about purchasing this, but I don't need an eye cream right now. So, but this was super hydrating. If you have like massive dry under eyes, this stuff is really, really hydrating and really, really good. And last for the samples, I used up the First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser, and I liked it a lot. Um, I would definitely think about purchasing the full size. Um, I have so many cleansers right now that I'm using that I really like, so I don't need a cleanser. But in the future, I need to like store this in my brain. If I need one and I'm running out, I definitely want to um, get one of these. I went through a pink, fresh and clean. Um, this is the... Eau du Parfum or whatever. Um, this is like a heavier scented fresh and clean. Um, I love the scent. I not only use this on my body, but I used it um, all around the house. I used it on the bed. I used it everywhere. Um, I really like this scent. This is my favorite scent from the Pink Line. Honestly, it's my favorite scent from Victoria's Secret altogether. Um, so I would definitely repurchase. I, I think I have actually a body lotion and a body wash in this scent already so I love it okay a couple more empties and then I'm gonna show you just a couple things that I'm tossing or handing down to other people um, this is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion um, I went through this phase of needing eyeshadow primers I usually don't I just use like um, like a Maybelline color tattoo or like a base a good base for my eyeshadow and I don't really have problems with creasing but I love this eyeshadow primer. I think it's really, really good. Um, it definitely, I can tell the vibrancy of the colors come through a little better and last a little bit longer whenever I use this. So I would definitely repurchase it. Um, I think I have a couple more of these though. So I don't really need to go purchase it. I already have a couple of these. Then I went through some mascaras. Um, I'm throwing away, I used this like a couple times and I hated it. It is the Calvin Klein One Mascara. I did not like it. I didn't think it was that great. Um, and then I also went through the It Cosmetics Tight Line Mascara. I loved this. I'm really sad to see this go. It's this really, really skinny little wand and it was perfect for tight lining. It's the only thing, like I can't go in with a pencil and go in and tight line. It irritates my eyes, it irritates my contacts. I have really sensitive eyes. This was awesome though because I could just literally just tap it in and it would look like I have really full lashes and it looks like I kind of tight lined a little bit with this so definitely I would repurchase. I do know they have a waterproof um, kind so I think the next time I'm going to go for the waterproof instead of this one but I definitely suggest it and I love it. And then the last mascara I went through is the Josie Moran Black Oil. I loved this. This was an amazing mascara. The wand is awesome. It's like this really crazy natural bristled bumpy wand um but it made my lashes really big really full it didn't transfer um it's just a really good mascara i'm very very impressed with this one and i definitely want to get um the full size okay just a couple makeup products i'm tossing um i'm tossing the maybelline color tattoo in bad to the bronze it's, it makes me so sad that i'm tossing this but it's completely dried up i went in to use this the other day um i used quite a bit of it but it is so rock hard. I couldn't even like rub. I like got a little bit of color, but like to apply it on my eye, I was like scraping my eye. So I think it's time to go. Um, I've tried the microwave trick and stuff, but it's it's literally like rock solid hard. Um, and then the other makeup item I'm tossing and I'm 
Ugh, ugh, I'm so glad I'm tossing this. This is the Wet n Wild 904B in Rosebud. Um, it's a really pretty color and I I think it's really pretty. Um, and it's super creamy, super pigmented. I put it on my lips the other day and I was like, this color looks awful on me. It looks so bad. Like, this is one of those colors for me that you're like, oh, that might be pretty on somebody else, but on you, it looks just awful and I don't oh I just couldn't believe how bad it looked on me so I actually might give this to my sister and see if it works with her skin tone it's really pretty and I love like I said I love looking at the color but the color on me does not go well. okay I am going to like hand down or just kind of pass on some nail polish I'm not gonna go through each color that I'm like passing on but I have a bunch here I actually have one two three four five six seven eight um, polishes that I'm going to either pass on to my sister or I don't know donate them or something like that because I just I don't use these colors I don't wear these colors and it was taking up room in my makeup drawer and then I am tossing which I'm really disappointed in these two julep ones um, I don't know if you can see look at how awful they like parted and I've like shaked them I've put them upside down I've switched them I've Put them every other way I again tried to shake them up and they just keep separating so I think they are no good and they need to go they just they're bad they need to go okay so that is it for my December empties like I said not much here but I will have a ton more in January so look out for that um, and I also am doing a best of beauty it probably won't be up till next week now um we kind of had a snowstorm and my sister couldn't come over but i still am going to be filming it with my sister which i'm super excited about and yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this empties video and i will see you guys in the next one bye